kill. And we don't mean kill like with a gun or a bludgeon. We mean kill in a whole other way. Who knows what the word kill stands for? Raise your hand. Can't Keep be. it, love, and light. Kill. So that means we're gonna, we're gonna just light their whole situation and let the daddies in the group handle everything. We're gonna light up their, their Xavier and situation. I have got a real long list. Look at me. Okay, hold on. Xavier has another, uh... Let me get my cigarettes. Xavier has another uh, point to make. Raise your hand in the audience if you know, if you have heard of my characters, any of my characters. There are six right now. My production company, GoPro Solo. My alter ego, Coco Chanel YSL. My ghost rider ego, Senza Noom. Or my real regular ass, regular, regular ass, Heather Gillespie name. And I have three children, Viviana, Alexis, Louis. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome. If you've been here, you already know. You know what time it is. <laughs> I'm just saying real quick. So they turned me into an Amish lady for the day. I'm not Amish. I'm not Amish. Oh, okay, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready for his monologue. That you can't really be best friends with your children. Not be best friends with your child. You have to be strict with them. A lot of the time. My parents are strict. But you have to teach them about your own God. You have to teach your children about your own God. Do not be best friends with your child. That's it. All right. So Xavier says you can't be best friends with your child. I disagree. I agree you can teach your child and should teach your child about Jehovah God. But in my life, I don't consider you to be a friend unless you are helping me fix my problems. And I think that's the main with shit and I agree but I do think that you should be the, the biggest resource that your child your children have and that's it that's all there is that's that's how I feel I don't know who these people are is someone throwing something on the tent no, I think something's leaking. you guys it's been fucking crazy the last several days awful like so we were in some sort of agreement where we were getting money restitution to cover Airbnb costs until they found me permanent housing because I had my own apartment. Um, Dylan came out of prison. The show Love After Lockup aired. I started getting stalked, harassed. I got bludgeoned, beat over the head with a fucking tire iron, stabbed 11 times. I went to the court system for emergency order of protection. They denied it. Ended up getting bludgeoned again. I've never been even in so much as a fist fight. I was jumped by three women and stabbed 11 times with a screwdriver. Um, my children all lived with me from birth, from the day they were born, through November 24th, 2019, which is Thanksgiving, when someone tried to home invasion our house. And when they tried to home invasion my house, I called 911. The law shows up, tells me I'm acting hysterical, that I should take medication, and calls my kid's, parent, my kid's father, and he had to come pick them up. They've been perpetuating false narratives about me, that I'm uneducated, that I smoke crack, never done drugs in my life, other than uh, Adderall, which is prescribed, um, that I, what else, take meth, never done meth in my life ever even once, that I take heroin, never taken heroin in my life. I smoke pot out of a bowl that's an apple. Let me show you guys. 
Where's my apple bowl, babe? No, it's not. No, it's not. nothing to help me. I go to the court system. My own lawyer, Nick Albuquerque, meets me at Target on State Street at Christmas time and goes, Heather, I would flee the state if I were you. It's not safe for you here. I'm like, I have no money. He got a promotion to administrative law judge. I'm like, I have no money. Like, I just got done paying off my vehicle, a Cadillac CTS. My kids are staying with their father and his family for the first time in their life. My whole entire life is like up in like upheaval. Why, you know, why are you not helping me with this? So after almost two years of literally being like beaten, abused, sexually assaulted, and robbed, finally the police say that they're gonna pay restitution of $300 every two days um, until they're able to get into court. So his dad is sending us these payments for $200 every two days, and then he says he's gonna make it 300. He did that for three weeks. That's it, and never sends anything else. So I was working and I was paying everything, but when I went into preterm labor, December 26, 2022, I delivered twin babies. They passed away at 20 weeks gestation. Um, when that happened, uh, I lost my paycheck. And so we expected that the restitution from law enforcement and Xavier's father was gonna continue but they just MIA and disappeared and it was winter. It was Valentine's Day, one degree, when they decided to stop paying and sabotage my Airbnb. I have nothing but positive reviews. I'll, I'll post the positive reviews here. I think there's already a post with nothing but the positive reviews. I've never been reviewed poorly on Airbnb. I've always been like a fantastic guest. I've been using it for the whole time that this controversy has been going on since Love After Lock Up aired in 2020. Um, but they blocked my account. So they stopped our funding and blocked my Airbnb account. When you call Airbnb, they say they have no idea why and then a manager will have to call me back. I've been calling every single day for six months, still have not heard anything back. So they're holding us here. The, the police know about the situation, stalk us to where we're sleeping. I hand them a written narrative that I've typed up with all the dates of the sexual assaults, live links to my Instagrams, my YouTube channels, proving all of the, you know, kid, um, stabbing and the, the beating me over my head and the sexual assaults and everything that they've done. I've recorded it, most of it, 90% of it, and all the other stuff, the technological boxing and everything. The being separated from my children unlawfully with no, no like, nothing. Like, I go to the courthouse and I'm like, yo, I have three children. Why the fuck are you refusing to let me see a judge? They stamp it. I went live with you guys. I brought my whole live crew with me on Insta. The, the, um, what's that lady called? Clerk, whatever. She stamps it, filed petition, files it electronically, gives me this, like, sheet with all the judges' names and their assistants and tells me by tomorrow I'll receive an email with the court date. 
six times. I've gone once every six months for the past four years and done that. Still not been given a single court date. And my children are still with their fathers. I have custody of them. They need their mother. Look at where they've got their mother. Like, it's fucked up, you guys. So, anyways, if you guys can support me, um, they've cut me a lot. They've harmed me a lot, a lot. They've intentionally done a lot to harm me. Xavier's been taking care of me and protecting me. I haven't been sexually assaulted that I can, that I'm sure I've been sexually assaulted since, I believe, this time last year was the last time. Um, I have suspicion that things have happened. Like, I think Xavier goes somewhere. I, I don't know if law enforcement forces him to go, like, update them or what, but they bring in someone who looks like Xavier, and I can tell it's not, but they won't admit it. I say, you're not Xavier, and they just look at me funny. Um, and during those times, I know something weird has happened a couple of times. I just hope it's not right, you know? Uh, the hospital, like, has offered me no assistance. I literally went to the hospital and said, I cannot get sexually assaulted another time. Please help me. I would rather die. Do you guys do assisted euthanasia? And they, like, literally laughed and said, like, no, you can't. Like, we're not going to keep you here. There's nothing wrong with you. They don't give a fuck. Like, law enforcement is standing here every morning, like, harassing me to wake up and to move but not solving any of the sexual assault cases and not calling me and helping me get a court date. So I just basically feel like no. Xavier's the only one. Xavier's like the only one who's been able to like not lie. There have been like, my bad. There have been like 30 or 40, can you guys hear me in my back? There have been like 30 or 40 um, instances where we've been able to prove with witnesses, different witnesses, what's been going on. Every single one of them has fled the state after assisting. And I have it all written down in a novel that I'm writing. Will, Alexis Galvin, um, Anthony, Olvira, Caesar. Um, who else? There's a whole list of them. They, like, I'll either rent a room from them for money or meet them through Airbnb or whatever. And or, or, like, Alexis just knew and approached me the same way Xavier did. Alexis is also my daughter's name, so they make it very confusing, you know? But I haven't received any resolution for anything. And, like I said, GoPro Solo has been in the works for 10 years. But because of this abuse and harassment, they're, like inspiring new content ideas so when you hear me doing the voices and like speaking in a different character's tone it's literally so that I don't do something super passive aggressive or violent because I'm tired and when you deprive someone of sleep and love and assistance and resources and make them beg for basic like human decencies like the restroom or you know sleep bad things happen all right, you guys, I love you. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. I hope that more of you can catch up with my photo shoots and that we can collaborate in the future. It's Heather Coposenza. My friends call me Coco. My real name is Heather. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. Um, just don't call me, um, how does that saying go? Whatever, I love you guys. What else? Guys, I would love to see some gifts from you. Any hats or galaxies, fireworks, maybe corgi. Love you or see you or what love? Any gifts that you would send on this screen?